This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we're dealing with a Mila dishwasher that has water left in the bottom at the end of the cycle. A little bit down here in the sump is normal, but this one had a lot. So we're going to pull out this one-way valve. It has a little ball bearing in it, and that ball bearing should be able to move freely. It should be able to wiggle around and move easily. This one's kind of stuck. So we're going to figure out if something might be caught inside this one-way valve. If it's caught, it would let water flow back in from the drain tube. So we're going to just reach in and pull out this little rubber piece. And inside we find the ball bearing, but also a little cherry pit. So the cherry pit was stuck in there and it was keeping the ball bearing from sealing down on the rubber. So we got that out of there. We're going to put the rubber piece back in. And that's why a lot of water would end up at the end of the cycle. Again, having a little bit in there underneath the filter is normal, but this one had a lot. So one other thing to check is to just pull out the bottom part of the one-way valve. Just pull it out towards you. And then you can reach in. I'm just going to reassemble this push the top piece back into the bottom piece. I'm going to reach in and see if I can feel the little drain impeller, like a little propeller. should be able to move freely. It'll have a little bit of resistance, but if it's stuck, there might be a piece of glass or ceramic caught underneath it. So this one's doing great. It's moving correctly. So the problem was due to that little cherry pit got caught in there. And pretty common problem. So I'm going to push this back in at a diagonal and then push it all the way in to the left which clicks it in and I'll put the three-way filter back in and this dishwasher should be back to normal. So a common problem is just due to a cherry pit that was stuck in there. So thanks so much for watching and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance. Thank you.